Currently, non-ferrous tanks are products that are widely used in production and daily life because of the great uses that they bring. Storing and preserving chemicals, storing water, or decoration. Different from barrels, non-plastic, non-ferrous barrels are appropriate to their acid resistance, rust resistance, impact resistance, and a high durability over time. So what is special about the process of the mass production of non-ferrous tanks at the factory? Is it more complicated and demanding than non-plastic containers? Let's explore together. The non-mass barrel production process. First, the coiled steel will be put on the line and then cut into sheets of suitable size for cartoning. Depending on the capacity, the factory will process the corresponding size drums. In fact, non-ferrous tanks have made many different capacities, but the most popular are the 200 liter and the 220 liter types. The steel plates will then be automatically rolled into a circular cylinder by the mechanical system, sealed and then joints to form the body of the barrel, as the top and the bottom edges of the barrel body will be stamped for easy connection to the lid and the bottom of the barrel, as the contours and edges of the barrel will be rounded and smoothed with precision and uniformity. At the same time on the barrel body, there will be pressed more wavy curves. This part helps to reduce some of the stiffness and increase durability and create the accents for the product. Still using coiled steel, through a pre-programmed modern cutting machine, a series of round metal lids and bottoms are quickly created. Soon the metal caps will be moved to another modern line to punch holes and install the accessories a drain valve, charging port, material transfer, and safety valve, and other accessories are added to the metal cap in turn. To complete the rough part, the bottom and lid will now be welded firmly to the body of the barrel to form a complete unit. Once done, the whole barrel will be smoothed and then sealed to prevent foreign matter from entering.
as the finished drum will be painted or coated with an electrostatic and anti-rust coating to protect the steel from the impact of the environment. Common colors of iron drums are usually blue, red, gray, or green. After the drums are finished and completely dried, they will be heated, unsealed, and directly inspected by workers at the factory. They will inspect all the welds to ensure the mechanical integrity and the safety of the drum. In addition, they will check the overall size, shape and color and other specifications to meet the quality requirements from the product. Finally, the drums are then carefully packed to ensure that they are not damaged or scratched in transit. After that, they will be loaded on the vehicle and then brought to the market. As the high quality and high quantity iron drum products on the market today are all the products designed according to the ISO 9001 standards through modern machinery lines and factories. Therefore, customers can be completely assured and confident when choosing this convenient non-iron product. How do you like today's video? Please leave a comment down below to let us know. Don't forget to click the like, share and subscribe button to support the channel. Now goodbye and see you in the next video.